According to our homicide tracker, there have been 68 homicides in Kern County this year. That number includes suspected murders at local prisons and deadly shootings by law enforcement officers as well. We continue to see far more killings than last year. As of this morning, there have been 68 reported homicides, with nine reported just this month. But by July 21st in 2019, there had been 55, so there have been at least 13 more deaths than at the same time last year. Joining us now is 17's Jason Katowski. He follows crime and court news very closely for KGET. And Jason, how many shootings have there been here in Kern County this year? We talked about homicides, but specifically shootings. Well, uh, fatal shootings, we've had a total of 52 uh, so far in Kern County this year. Uh, there have also been, uh, among those shootings, seven were uh, officer-involved shootings. Mm -hmm. uh, additionally, for the other homicides, we've had 11 stabbing deaths, one woman who died from a cut throat, um, and three assaults that have resulted in deaths. The cause of death of Patricia Alatore, the 13-year-old who police say was kidnapped and killed by an Inglewood man, has not yet been released by the coroner's office. So including Patricia Alatore, how many child deaths have we had so far this year? We've had 10 deaths of those under 18, and that includes two Delano girls, uh, ages 11 and 12, who were shot dead on July 2nd. And what police have said specifically targeted. Um, we've also had incidents involving an eight-year-old girl, uh, Jermia Amira Alexander, who authorities say was beaten to death by her mother's boyfriend, Clint Mason. Uh, the youngest victim we've had so far in the county was three-day-old Josiah Adrian Rivera, who was taken off life support a few days after his mother was shot and killed. So just a disturbing, a disturbing trend. Absolutely. It's one we'll continue to follow on, on the homicide tracker. 